In a time of high stakes testing, fear of what our children are forced to do in school, and discontent, I'm here to tell you that it can be done differently and successfully and in a public school setting. It's happening at the Lafayette Big Picture School and it's been happening at the Lafayette Big Picture School since 2008. The Lafayette Big Picture School is a school of choice where students and parents decide that this is the, the school path that they want their students on. It's centered around three key tenets of relationship, relevance, and rigor. When these three tenets come together, we meet the sweet spot of pure and true and good education. Relationships. There's four key levels of relationships. The first is teacher to student. When a student is enrolled in the big picture school, they're assigned an advisor who is a certified teacher, but that teacher stays with them every day for their four years of high school. That teacher gets to know them and learn about them, their strengths, their weaknesses, what makes them tick. They're there to support them. The second layer of relationship is student to student. The student is added to an advisory with peers who will graduate at the same time. We start together and we finish together. The students support each other like a family. Family to school. We don't just enroll students, we enroll their families. Families are a key part of our school community. Families come in and make decisions about what their students will learn and how they'll learn and what they do. The fourth level of relationship is student to mentor. Students are paired with an adult mentor in the field out of our school building that is doing what the student is passionate about. The student learns not only the career, but also has a lifelong mentor to guide them on those bumpy roads. Our second R is relevance. We start where the students are at. So whether it's rap music or rockets or raising chickens, that's where we start. And we build an individualized, personalized plan for each one of our students. We ask them what they're interested in and what they're curious about. And the staff and the adults in our building are responsible for creating an educational plan for that student. We teach students how to ask questions and to dig deep into their curiosity. Rigor. Our students are required to meet the New York State learning requirements and testing requirements, but we really think these are minimum standards. We know our students can do more. Students are expected to dig deep into the topics that interest them. Our students attend college classes while still in high school. We have a relationship with Morrisville State College. Our kids go to college campus and sit in classes with older students and they can experience and feel and know what it's like to be in college because they are in college. Our students give public exhibitions every 10 or 15 weeks. They have to stand in front of a panel and express and explain what they've learned, what they've done, what they haven't done. They have to do this in front of their peers, their parents, their advisor, their mentor, their principal, the board of education, and community members. Learning is real. It's not done on a worksheet. Students are tackling real world problems, diving into real world topics. Students are asked to find their passion and find themselves. Students want to explore a topic, we ask them to commit to that path for about 10 weeks. After that 10 week time period, they can decide that they want to recommit to that path or they can change paths. This young lady, she came to our school passionate and interested in piercing and tattooing. She then decided that cosmetology was something that she was really interested in. 
Then she explored baking. Then she explored event planning. She's graduated school, and she's now attending college, exploring hospitality management. I have another great story to share with you, and that's Gulla's story. When I first met Gulla, she was extremely, painfully shy. I mean, she didn't talk to anyone. Gulla is going to be retained in school again. To me, it wasn't acceptable. There was more to her story than just insubordination. Please enjoy Gulla's story. <laughs> senior at the Lafayette Big Picture. And well, before I came to Big Picture, I was really shy, and I never went to school because I did not like school. Um, I didn't really like my teachers because I thought they were annoyed with me because I never talked. Whenever any of my teachers would try to talk to me, I would just sit there and not say a word. One of my teachers told me that I was going to fail and I stopped going to school for a while. The day I returned to school, the school nurse told me that I was going to be going to big picture. She was trying to get all, she was getting all emotional with me and I was like, what, what's this lady talking about? <laughs> when I started at big picture, I was so nervous. They're talking about learning plans, internships, and workshops. I was so confused. I actually stopped going to school for a while because I didn't understand anything, and I didn't really want to try. Big Picture kept calling me and my dad. They kind of kept harassing us until I came back to school. <laughs> my second year, I did awesome. There was a lot of support and I figured it all out. Now I know I can do it. 
I have been interning with a home health aide for about a year now, and when I graduate, I want to go to nursing school. Without big picture, I most likely would have dropped out in eighth grade. I would have probably still be still have been shy and not be able to speak to you today. Okay, it's about me, right? No. Okay. So now's the time. Now's the time to act. So I'm challenging you with five easy, well, not really easy, but definitely worth it, steps to take to bring big picture to your community, to your classrooms, to your workplace. The first is that believe learning can happen, and it can happen anywhere and everywhere. It does not happen to happen, have to happen within four walls of a school building or a workplace. Develop personalized relationships with the students you're working with or the people that you're working with. Promote curiosity. Ask questions. Ask people what they're interested in. Dig deep. Transform your classroom into a family. Introduce your students to the world. Go out, bring the world in. Introduce your students to many different people. Explore and share. Thank you.